What's up guys? Welcome to another video. This video we're going to be taking a look at the Edifier QD35. Now this speaker has been on the market for just a little bit, but it's new to me. I did buy this with my own money. This is not a collaboration with Edifier, although they are more than willing and to reach out to me. I am more than willing to listen and collaborate. Uh, I do have some other Edifier speakers on another setup, but this one, uh, I did not review those. They're just a standard wood type speaker that sound amazing they're on one of my other setups this one here is going on a secondary setup that I have going and uh, it's gonna fit the bill pretty nicely so I decided to pick this one up because I've been happy with Edifier in the past so this speaker is a Bluetooth speaker it does support though high-res audio and high-res audio wireless so you can uh, get the most for a Bluetooth speaker, right? Right. So the RMS uh, is 25 watt plus 15 watt, which means the base is the 25 watt and the 15 watt would be the treble. So it's a total of 40 watt uh, output. The 35 watt GAN, this is a very fast charging. You've probably heard of GAN technology and a lot of the USB battery power banks that are out today. Um, so this has GAN charging, which means it charges up very quickly with the turbo GAN. Uh, RGB lighting. So this is a very unique speaker in that it's transparent. Um, there is actually a company out there that makes just transparent speakers. I've looked at them, but they are so overpriced. So this was kind of a win for the price uh, and for what this offers because it also, Segway in, has RGB lighting. So splendid light effects. Uh, basically it has some presets and uh, also you can customize it with their Edifier Connect app. So that is cool. Rich EQs, again, it has preset EQs, but also you can customize those and share them. How cool is that? Uh, Bluetooth is 5.3. And again, this Bluetooth uh, speaker supports LDAC, which is about the best quality you can get right now. Well, I want to say LDAC Splendid. It is a Sony uh, codec basically that was released and they used it in a lot of their equipment so this is actually piggybacked on and uses that LDAC so what that means is you're going to get 990 kbps over bluetooth that's like your bit rate right you guys will go back to the mp3 days um you know they they had different uh bit rates and that means the quality was better but it took longer to download so if you go back to the Napster days, you know, you were looking for the 36 KBS. I mean, that was just like to get it and listen to it, right? But then you started looking at the, the, the betters, the 90s, the 128s, the 326s, all those. So that is your bit rate. So this actually could stream uh, transmission-wise, Bluetooth-wise, 9... Let's see, what did I say? 960? So that's up there, right? That's a great sampling rate. So... Uh, no, 990, sorry, 990, that's the sampling rate. Uh, again, has an app, and again, Bluetooth 5.3. So, you can see here, that looks pretty cool. Uh, LDAC again, high-res audio, high-res Bluetooth, so uh, everything I already mentioned. So let's go ahead and pop the top, open this bad boy up, get it set up, listen to it, see what she says to offer. Super excited for a kick-butt-looking speaker. So here is quick start guide. So I'll throw that aside. And then the actual speaker itself. Rawr, pretty heavy duty speaker. Let's get out the gun, all the accessories. And let's get the box out of the way. I think that's it. Yep. All right, box this out of the way. Here's our speaker, all wrapped up. Go ahead and pop that. Nicely protected. Little felt cloth all over it. Go ahead and untaper. Wrap it up. It's like pulling the curtain. You ready for this? Hopefully, I don't got it backwards. Whoa, looky there. Is that not pretty? Look at there, some branding up top. Look at that. 
I like this looking speaker. This is beautiful. I'm going to have to get two of these. Um, so, so, accessories. A little quick start. The manual. Quick start guide is much thinner. I'm sure this is in about 50 different languages here, but uh, the QD35 manual. Clean off your fingerprints because I already put some on there. Cables and stuff provided. Here's what you get. Because you know, when you buy a speaker, you always want to know what you're going to get. So you get your power cable. So you can plug it in. You get a USB A to A. And you get a 3.5 millimeter jack in. So that is what you get. Um, let's see, I already downloaded the app, we'll go over that. Uh, the acoustic architecture design, you probably noticed the whole transparency, the tubing, all that kind of stuff inside of here. So this has a 3 inch mid base, the uh, housing is aluminum alloy, uh, also the diaphragm is aluminum alloy and it makes for a rich base down to 60 hertz, that's awesome, right? And the uh, Chris mids, have a one inch trouble. So that's that's the sizes here for the three and the one. Uh, again, we already went over the output. The base does the 25 watts. The, the treble does 15. So to, together, you've got a 40 watt output. I uh, already talked about the LDAC and what else? Oh, it has a built in amplifier. I do want to tell you that. Um, so it actually separates the uh, quality of the sound, the bass goes down one, obviously the treble goes down another, and it's doing uh, that with the digital amplifier which has the DSP chipset built into it. That is a lot to say. So needless to say, we're gonna power this bad boy up and check out how it sounds and how it looks, cause look at that, boy, just gorgeous. All right, we're gonna shut up and power up and we'll be right back. All right guys, welcome back. So we've got it hooked up, um, got it connected to the app, so easily done by Bluetooth. There's some controls on the side here that you can push to change the uh, source basically, right? So you'll push it until you get from USB to aux to basically Bluetooth. Once that's on, you can see it, pair it, just like a normal session would. Once it's paired up, everything comes to life. You've got a clock down here that actually syncs with your phone. And again, you have the high power GAN charging out of the side here. You've got, um, it says 35 watt, USB-A or USB-C, so you can charge your devices from this bad boy. Um, so again, fast charge uh, technology built into a speaker uh, is just super kick butt. On this side here, obviously we've got the um, light effects we can change. Again, this is the auxiliary, also the power. Uh, and then the DIY, you can change it to like gaming mode, uh, music mode, all sorts of different things. And again, you can change the lighting effects on the side here um, with just the turn of the button, push it, change modes. This is like a chasing mode here. And that's kind of a breathing mode. But if you'd rather do the app, you can download the app, pair it with your phone as mentioned, and come in here and basically see the QD35 speaker. Now what's cool is you've got soothing sounds, so if you want to just put this by your bedside and just listen to soothing sounds, uh, you can click on the app and it'll basically load up like soothing sounds. You got summer nights, you got med meditation, um, got ocean animals, so let's just do ocean and uh, gentle waves, right? Uh, if you wanted to do meditation, you got 3D soundscape, uh, some tones, twilight. Let's just do relaxing piano. So. Interesting. Twilight Renaissance. I don't think I'd want to re meditate to that. But uh, now let's go to the graphics so you can 
actually control the lighting so I can change the lighting color. So right now we're just in the breathing mode and the current color is green. I can obviously change that to whatever color I want. There's red. And then I can change the actual, like, here's shooting star. So you can have all sorts of different effects with the music. Here's a uh, glittering and colorful. So this has got its own basic presets here. Here's gradient, which is just going to go on a gradient tangent here of all your colors. Uh, tempo. So you can actually have this move to the music, which is kind of cool. Uh, static. So there's just static. Nothing's going to happen there. And then a whole bunch more, right? So you can scroll here, uh, customize it. There you can see the water drop. Multicolored. Let's apply the multicolored and see what happens here, right? So start now. Boom. Let's see what we get. It's loading. It's loading. 50, 60, 70. So it is actually downloading something from... This wasn't a, a preset. So here we go. It's loaded. And there we go. We're starting this effect that I have now downloaded. And I tell you what. Let's go ahead and kill some of the lighting in here so you guys can see a little bit better. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? That one's loaded. Um, here's Spiral. Start new. Look at that. Oh, is that not cool? Alright, I'm gonna try to put us into some music real quick. I don't want to get any copyright infringements, but let's just do New Music Friday. Let's see what we get here. This might have a little bit of bass. Commercial. This sounds amazing too, guys. Amazing. See the spirals going to the music. My name is Regina so you can kind of see that the spiral is speeding up to the music, so the lighting effects can play to the music. So cool. This is a cool speaker. Uh, I'm going to put it into my setup. I may order a second one, even though they're a little bit pricey. I'll have a link in the show notes where you can look it up yourself and decide if you want one or not. But if you're wanting to be different, and bring that, that cool transparent look, kind of a RGB look to your setup, wherever it may be. You know, maybe you just want a nice little ambiance by the bed. This has a clock. It can be, you know, however you want to use it. Um, that you can bring it to the for forefront. And music, gaming, you know, whatever you're wanting to do. If you want to listen to audiobooks, that might be overkill, but hey, you can do it. Anyway, guys, check the link in the show notes. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the show, and as always, guys, thanks for watching, and have a good one.